Hello dear friends, welcome back again to another video from my YouTube channel. Dear friends, in our previous video, we discussed about the location and some basic things about the testes. In this video, we are going to discuss about the internal structure of the testes. That means the anatomy of the testes. Anatomy of testes. As we know, testes are the primary male sex organs in which the sperm production takes place. That means it is a very very important structure in the male reproductive system in which the male gamete is produced. That is why we are studying the anatomy of the testes my dear friends. If you take the internal view of the testes as we have discussed earlier also, testis is oval shaped structure. It is an oval shaped structure. And these testes, they are covered with two protective layers, two protective jackets. The inner protective layer, it is called as tunica tunica albugina tunica albugina this is the inner protective layer whereas the testis is covered with one more outer protective layer this outer protective layer it is called as tunica vaginalis tunica Vaginalis is the outer protective layer. Tunica albugina is the inner protective layer. This inner protective layer of the testis, that is tunica albugina, this has got certain infoldings. Certain infoldings. This layer has got certain in foldings like this. This in folding is nothing but this in folding, this in folding of tunica albugina, it is called as testicular septa testicular septa this is one testicular septa this is the second testicular septa here we have third testicular septa like that we have many testicular septas in a testis as a result of this infoldings in the tunica albugina layer there are some compartments appear there are certain chambers are prepared inside the testis these chambers these chambers they are called, let us label here, these chambers are called testicular lobules. They are the lobes in the testis. They are the compartments in the testis. This is one lobe. This is the other lobe. This is the third lobe. This is the fourth lobe. Like that, we have approximately 250 testicular lobules are present in one testis. How many testis are present in a male person? We have a pair of testis. We have two testis. In one testis, we have 250 compartments. These compartments are called as testicular lobules. In another testis we have the same 250 that means totally we have 500 testicular lobules in a male person 500 in one testis 250 in the other testis we have 250 250 plus 250 500 total we have 500 testicular lobules now what is there inside these lobules what is there inside these chambers inside the chambers we have inside the chamber we have some fine tube-like structures, fine tube-like structures, they are coiled tubes, they are 
coiled condensed tubes like this these tubes are highly coiled but at their tip they are straightened like this these tubes these tubes they are very very important my dear friends these tubes they are called as semini ferrous semini ferrous tubules semini ferrous tubules the name itself giving the meaning tubules means they are tubular in the structure semini ferrous tubules in each compartment that means this is one compartment this is one compartment. In each compartment, we have one, two, three seminiferous tubules. Minimum is one. Minimum is one. Maximum is three. Sometimes two seminiferous tubules may be present in a compartment. This seminiferous tubule is the very, very important structure in the testis, my dear friends. Because this is the site for sperm production. Seminiferous tubules are the structures in which the sperm production takes place. The male gamete gets synthesized inside the seminiferous tubules of the testis. That is why it is very, very important for our study. Now, all these seminiferous tubules, they join together. They join together to form a common, to form a common duct like this. They join to form a common duct. All the seminiferous tubules, they are joined in a common duct. Here, actually the sperm production takes place. Whatever the sperm which is produced here, for example, this is the sperm. It is carried to this. From here, it is carried to the same common duct. From all the seminiferous tubules, the sperms are carried to a common duct. The sperms are collected in a common chamber. This chamber, it is called as rete testis. What is rete testis? It is a common junction where all the sperms are collected from different seminiferous tubules. This rete testis, it has got certain fine tube-like structures, fine tubular ducts, fine tubular ducts. The sperms are coming from seminiferous tubules to the rete testis and from that rete testis they are carried to the fine ducts. These fine ducts are nothing but vasa efferentia vasa efferentia from the vasa efferentia they are conducted to epididymis in future and from the epididymis they are conducted to vasa differentia and from the vasa differentia they are conducted to the various glands and from the glands they are conducted to the ejaculatory duct and from the ejaculatory duct it goes to the penis in future in future this part we'll discuss in our next video but my dear friends we are concentrated only on the anatomy of the testis internal characteristic feature of the testis the anatomy of the testis consists of compartments they are called as testicular lobules inside the compartments we have tube like structures they are called as seminiferous tubules in which the sperm production takes place the sperms which are produced illi huttidantha ella veeregalu kuda ee rete testis ge bartav rete testis se seedha vasa efferentia ge taraf sperms jare vasa efferentia se aage ki journey tay karte ye aage ki journey hum next video mein dekhenge but hamara main maqsad hai anatomy of the testis ko samajhna agar ye testis ko main aisa cut kara if i cut the testis like this then these seminiferous tubules, they appear round in the shape. That view, 
it is called as sectional view sectional view of testis अगर मैं टेस्टिस को कट करके देखा उसका सेक्शन लेके देखा इफ आई टेक सेक्शन ऑफ द टेस्टिस देन आ टेस्टिस यहां तरह कांडते थ्री टेस्टिस वळगडे ई सेमीनिफेरस ट्यूब्यूल्स गळो राउंड 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 ई तरह कांडता दे आर द सेमीनिफेरस ट्यूब्यूल्स दे आर द सेमीनिफेरस ट्यूब्यूल्स सेमीनिफेरस ट्यूब्यूल्स ये सेमीनिफेरस ट्यूब्यूल्स चल रहा था और ये कहाँ पे हैं सेमीनिफेरस ट्यूब्यूल्स इनसाइड द टेस्टिकुलर लोक्यूल्स एंड इनसाइड द टेस्टिकुलर लोक्यूल्स देर आर सम कनेक्टिव टिश्यू हियर दिस इज़ द कनेक्टिव टिश्यू दिस कनेक्टिव टिश्यू इट इज़ कॉल्ड एस द सेम कनेक्टिव टिश्यू आई the seminiferous tubules are present inside the testicular lobules this connective tissue it is known as interstitial connective tissue interstitial connective tissue now listen very carefully it is very very important for competitive exams my dear friends they are the seminiferous tubules in each compartment maximum we have three seminiferous tubules these seminiferous tubules they are made up of two types of germinal epithelial cells there are two types of germinal epithelial cells are present some of the cells they are cube like some of the cells are cube like and some of the cells they are conical or pyramid shape there are two types of epithelial cells in the seminiferous tubule this is the section of the seminiferous tubule this section of the seminiferous tubules it is lined with the epithelial tissue and this epithelial tissue it is made up of two types of cells let us complete here also some cells are cube like and some cells are pyramid shape pyramid shape the cells which are cube like they are called as germ cells or they are also called as spermatogonia they are also called as spermatogonia whereas the cells which are conical and pyramid shape they are called as sertoli cells what they are called they are called sertoli cells and germ cells they are the two types of epithelial tissue present in the seminal vesicle what is a germ cell germ cell is a epithelial cell which is cuboidal whereas a sertoli cell it is a it is a epithelial cell which is a pyramid shape this is the sertoli cell this is the germ cell now inside this interstitial space some cells are observed some masses of cells are observed here some masses of cells are observed these mass of cells they are called as leydig leydig cells leydig cells listen carefully my dear friends here we have three very important cells germ cells or spermatogonia cells sertoli cells and leydig cells sertoli cells they are also called as nurse cells they are also called as nurse cells whereas leydig cells they are also called as inter 
interstitial cells. Why they are called as interstitial cells? Because they are present in the interstitial connective tissue. That is why they are called as interstitial cells. Let us understand the functions of three very important cells present in the testis. Germ cells or spermatogonia cells, they undergo meiosis and results into the formation of sperms results into the formation of sperms that means germ cells participate in the spermatogenesis process they are involved in the sperm production these germ cells they divide by meiosis to form the sperms that is the main function of the germ cell whereas sertoli cells sertoli cells main job is as the name itself giving the meaning they are also called as nurse cells. That means they nourish. They nourish the developing. They nourish the developing sperms. Germ cells can say, sperms utpatti madudu, viregala utpatti madudu, e viregala utpatti agwanta sandar dali, auka potion in the yar kotara pantare, sertoli cell kodate. Then we have the third cell that is the Leydig cell. Leydig cell's main function is to secrete to secrete male sex hormone. 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 Ladyk cell. Ladyk cell. Male sex hormone. Androgens ya fer testosterone testosterone ya fer androgen ye male sex hormone hai male sex hormone banane wala cell kon sa hai ladyk cell hai sperm banane wala cell kon sa hai germ cell hai ab sperm ko nourishment dene wala cell kon sa hai sertoli cell hai Yaad rakho, remember these three cells, they are very very confusing and they are very very important for both board as well as for competitive exams. Yee mooru cell gada na nana pittu kodri, lady cell kel sa yeno, male sex hormone nana pittu gada maadu du, sertoli cell kel sa yeno, sperm ge nourishment kodu vantha du, spermatogonia cells kel sa yeno, sperm utpatti maadu vantha du. I hope in the law complicated attempt the clist of adhanta vishya vanna sarala karadi, sarala maadina nyali dini. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for your future videos. Thank you so much my dear friends.